This tutorial will show you how to make a, a 2D, two, very, uh, very simple 2D logo into a 3D and impressive logo. So what we have here is where we have a, a 2D logo and what I did, I, I removed the fill and uh, I also left the the lines so that we can do some effects in the in the lines or the objects so first of all um, this the arrows here what we can do here we can instead of just a plain dark green color we can uh, put some interactive fill so you click on interactive fill click and drag okay. so my first one I'm going to make it green and uh, and actually this one I can make it green too okay so both are green but if I click on this box here and I go to my color palette here let's say I'm going to put a little bit of yellow uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to okay let's say this kind of yellow so I click on it and then hold down control and then click on the deep yellow color and you notice that this one becomes uh, a little bit of yellow okay so I'm fine with that now um, since all of this one will be the same color so what I'm going to do I'm click on this object hold down shift and click on this object too okay and then you go to uh, edit click on copy properties from okay so copy the properties from uh, Corelldra is asking okay which property so uh, that you want to copy so I click on fill and click OK so once I click on OK you can have an arrow so I'm gonna click on this object here and there you go so this have the same fill as this one now let's go to this side of the arrow so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make it the same or actually what we can do we can click on this and then I'm going to go to edit copy properties from and I'm going to make it the same color as this one but what I'm going to do I'm going to change the the color placing Okay, so I go to my interactive field and I'm just going to move this this way and then I'm going to go that way. I'm just going to drag this. Okay, so that's fine. So you click on these two arrows here, hold down shift and click on this one too. And you go to edit copy properties from you're copying the fill click OK and then click on this one now if you notice the yellow the yellow gradient is on the bottom here same as here so if you want it the same as this one you click on the let's say that arrow you're gonna fix that go to your interactive fill and then just move the slider same as this one too so you click on interactive fill and then just move the slider okay so I'm good now we're going to remove the outline of this hold down shift I'm selecting all the arrows and then right mouse click on this one which is no fill a uh, no outline so right mouse click Okay, not left mouse click so click and notice that the outline disappeared okay now we're going to do the drops okay but well, first of all I'm going to I'm gonna do one first okay so I click on this and then I'm going to I'm just going to sample this color and then hold down shift and then pour to that one So, 
click on this and I'm going to remove the outline so right mouse click on this X tool here uh, X as uh, X icon for no fill okay so the fills uh, disappeared now I'm going to put a small highlight over here so I'm going to use my ellipse tool and I'm going to make an ellipse there because we are making it as a drop okay a droplet I'm going to call it white remove the outline so right mouse click on the X icon and I go to my interactive transparency tool click and drag so something like that okay okay so now we're going to stylize this droplet here so I click on this uh, droplet and I go to my interactive contour okay I want the contour going inside which is this one here this icon inside and then here's the distance okay so I want it doesn't matter if that's gray because we're still gonna change that okay we just want to make it a different color okay so I think that's good and then I'm going to go to arrange because this and will uh, this contour are grouped together so break contour group apart okay so this is one contour and this is one too okay but now I'm going to put some highlights so I'm going to go to my busier tool click here and click there okay. so go to my shape tool click on this and then make it to curve so you're converting it to curve that's good now with this one too I click here and click here okay so go to my shape tool click on the line convert line to curve and I am going to shape it like that okay we're good now the only part here that I want actually it's only this part and this part so you go to your smart fill tool and pour and pour on this one too now you can delete all of this I can delete that delete this line and then delete this one too so I have this uh, two uh, shape okay now let's go to this shape here right mouse click on this one to remove the outline and I'm going to make that uh, a different blue this blue okay and then this one I'll make it darker blue okay, remove the outline and uh, maybe darker some more and I'm going to make it did that uh, transparent so I click on transparency click and drag and drag first and then drag the slider okay now if you zoom out it looks better than the 2d one okay. now let's let's put some mesh fill onto the the bigger droplet means this one here okay so I go to my mesh because I'm going to make it like a 3D droplet go to your mesh fill okay the default is 3 over 3 so you can always change this one you can make it higher take a look at this one here okay you can make this mesh too so that's this is the columns and this is the rows okay so I'm happy with that one so now what's the concept of mesh fill now see these nodes here okay if I select that node let's say I'm so selecting that node and let's say I want to make it darker blue so I go here navy blue and click see it changes okay. so let's say this one 
click there okay. and then let's say this one too I wanted a different blue yeah now you have like a almost a 3d version of it so I click on that and go to my mesh and then let's say here I want this to be darker so I just select those two nodes and I click on this some more on this right. so let's say this uh, this nodes here I want to make it darker okay so I click on let's say this is the darker or navy blue I click on that see it becomes like that right but I'm going to undo that because I want it to be not too dark now if you want it not too dark okay so I selected those nodes hold on control and then click on this navy blue okay because so what happens it's okay the dark uh, the darkness of the of the draw droplet would be not too drastic so click there okay. let's see the here I'm actually happy with that one or maybe not yet I'm going to put a little bit of highlight here so I click on that and go to my mesh fill and see this one here I'm gonna zoom in I'm going to make this white so I select those node and I'm going to go to white here there yeah so that's my droplet okay now I have that already so I'm what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to group that together okay so I'll group that okay so these are my guides so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to duplicate and then I'm going to rotate okay, based on this line so I click on it duplicate or plus sign in your keyboard move it away and uh, I'm just going to put that on that tip there right. okay, if you go alt Z or you go view um, snap to objects okay I can click on this this node see this node see it shows up node and I'm just going to snap it to there okay. now the only thing I have to do here is to rotate it so you click on that click one more time and then you're going to have this rotation pin so move the rotation pin to that endpoint there and then rotate there you go but we still have to delete that small guide of ours which is that one so I'm going to delete that okay. now for this one same thing I click on that plus sign in the keyboard and then since I'm snapping to an object I'm going to snap on that node and bring it there and then we set the rotation pin here so that's fine so click one more time and then rotate it there. I think that's fine okay so we zoom in maybe some more yeah that's fine and I'm just going to do it this guide of ours here which is nope, not that one this one and delete okay so that looks good now and uh, not really satisfied with the arrows here so what I'm going to do I'm going to make some highlights on the arrows so I click on this part of the arrow and I go to my contour okay and going inside one step and then make this smaller this is the distance okay 
Okay, so I'm going to remember it's 0 0.033. So while, while this one's selected, you go to Arrange and then Break Contour Apart. Break Contour Group Apart. So this one's one and then this is the other one. So I'll undo that. And I'll just make this white. Okay, and I'm going to go to my Transparency tool and I'll click and drag. Okay, just to put some highlights on the arrow. Can we go a slider there? Okay. Now if you compare it's looking good now. So now we I'll do the same with this and this one here. Okay. So I click on this. Okay. I'm gonna fix the the fondant fill of that first. So you go to my interactive uh, interactive fill and I'm just going to move this part here there there and this one too I'll move it there no, this one should be this side there okay now I'm, I'm ready to make a contour so click on that and then go to uh, contour 0.33 okay which is that one that's fine this one too 0.33 okay so that's 0.33 and I'm going to arrange break contour group apart and then this one to break contour apart and I'll make all of this white I'll do transparency so you click on your transparency tool here and click and drag I move it this way here okay so that's good and then this one too make it that's already white so I'll transparent put some transparency oh the other way around okay and uh, We'll do the inside part too. So click on that. I'll make it all at the same time. So click on that, hold down shift, click on the second arrow, and then this one, third arrow. So I go to my contour. Okay, unfortunately we can't do it without combining it. So we'll just do it individually. So click here, and then all it's 33. And this one here, it's 33. This one here, it's 33. Okay. Let's get some break apart, break contour group apart. Make this white. Same thing here. Group, break contour apart. Make it white. And this one, break contour group and make this white. Okay. So transparencies would be applied here. So click and drag. Go this way. Yeah. So this one. Oh, this way. And this one too. What's the other way? Okay. So now we can see the difference now between the 2D and the 3D. Now this one I'll make it I'll make this white and I'm going to remove the outline. Okay. Now I'll make this I'll put some sh a glow on that one. So so I click on the that's the outer circle and then I'll go to my drop shadow, interactive drop shadow, and there's a preset named small glow. So if you click on that small glow, okay, it becomes red because this one's red, right? Now I want it to be white. There. Now you can see that there's a little bit of glowing into that. But you can also adjust as I'll make it outside here, okay? See outside makes it like that. And then the feathering I'll just change it to a smaller Okay, so you play around with these settings 
and uh, you would see the effect yeah if with this one I can change the transparency make it more opaque yeah there you go and uh, what else can we do here and then I can make this one here um, transparent or let's say right, let's say I'm going to delete that okay so that becomes a shadow too so I click on that because see if I move this one here okay I'll put a black a dark colored background there so I click on this and then move it over here okay so arrange order to front of page so you notice that there's a there's a glow right so let's say we're gonna put the back there delete that and then I can make this a different color let's say a lighter blue okay so if you want to make it lighter okay hold on control and then click on this white and you notice here it becomes white I mean it becomes lighter or you can make a gradient it's up to you so now we just stylize the logo a little bit with that effect So as you can see, we made a simple 2D logo into a 3D and appealing logo.